Person Online TV has a very special guest. We are delighted to be joined by Dr. John Hilbert, who is the Provost of Perth. Provost, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, congratulations on the city status. How, how do you feel from a personal perspective about this? Because as we understand, for, for your five years in office, you've, you've personally um, championed the initiative for us regaining city status. What did it mean to you from a personal perspective? Well, it, it meant a huge amount. I, I was absolutely delighted to hear last Wednesday that we had won. But it's been a long, long build-up, uh, uh, and it's been a lot of work, and it's been very, very rewarding. Not just because we achieved the city status, but I think there's a great deal was achieved uh, uh, on the way, uh, and uh, I'm very pleased with it and quite proud of it. So from, from a business perspective, you know, I'm sure lots of the business people in Perth and Perthshire are, are delighted that we've, that we've regained the city status. Well, what do you think it means to Perth and Perthshire from, from a business perspective, um, with, with <coughs> us regaining that? Well, I think from the business perspective, uh, it's becoming more and more important for us, for Perth, to be a city. Uh, following the last election, the government appointed Nicola Sturgeon, the Deputy Prime Minister, to be uh, Deputy First Minister, to be the Minister for Cities. And if I can uh, quote here from Leslie Sors, the Chief Executive of SCDI, she said, uh, Scotland's cities are the economic, cultural, social and intellectual powerhouses of Scotland. They are distinct and different, but their success is essential to Scotland's long-term future. And then uh, if, I, if I can continue with a, a press release from the CSPP, the Centre for Scottish Public Policy, uh, this uh, centre looks forward to working with the six cities and candidate city Perth, helping to shape the way ahead with challenging ideas, policy innovations, such as an infrastructure investment fund, which we've been championing this year. The fact is that in, in, in Scotland's policies are focusing on the cities mm. and uh, we were last year a candidate city and that was recognised and we were included in some of what was happening but not in any finance that was coming the way of cities but we were included uh, at, at the sort of policy level. Had we not been successful that would have been dropped. Uh, there, 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 there are the six cities uh, initiative, the, uh, a whole lot of things happening for the six cities and the government, the Scottish government is developing the six cities, the, 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 the way they interact together, the individual policies for different cities, the interconnectivity and so on. It's absolutely vital that we were part, we are part of that network. And strategic for us moving uh, forward. Strategic for us moving forward. We, 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 we would have been moving backwards had we not been successful. So I'm delighted that we have been successful and it's now uh, up to the new council once it's elected in May to take this forward and I'm absolutely certain that it will. And it's a busy year. 2012 is a very busy year. It's, it's, there's, there's lots of things on. There's been a lot of announcements uh, yeah. over the past few weeks. Uh, what, what do you see some of the some of the key highlights over the next six to nine months? Well, I, I, uh, the, the 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 two key highlights will be the uh, the uh, huge um, celebration of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee on the second of June. Uh, we will have a, a thousand pipers marching through Perth. Now, we've had mass pipe bands in the, in the past, but never more than two or three hundred. Mm. To have a thousand pipers marching through Perth will be a, a major spectacle. Mm. A I, think major be, spectacle. I think it'll be a very proud moment oh, for us all as proud, well. Very proud for Perth. Uh, so uh, that'll be in the morning of the Saturday the 2nd of June. Then we have the big lunch, which is down in the North Inch, where the pipers will, uh, will, will, will eventually finish their march. Um, with, with, with marquees and a big stage, music provided by Perth's many musical uh, organisations, Perth Youth Orchestra, Perth Choral, uh, Perth Symphony Orchestra, uh, Perth Brass Band, the various other uh, bands that we have in Perth, uh, Fair City Singers, Jamboree Choir, all these organisations will be involved in the music. Uh, and then in the afternoon there will be the Kilt Run which uh, uh, you, you'll be aware, or many people will be aware, that in 2010, Perth and Ontario established a kilt run 
a, a race over eight kilometers, one kilometer for every hundred years of Perth's history, and the whole thing dedicated to their mother city here in Scotland. Uh, 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 and the kilt run was established there, and they issued a challenge to us in Perth to beat their record of 1,089 runners in 2010. Uh, we intend to beat that uh, hand over fist and uh, hopefully we'll have something between 1,500 and 2,000 runners. Uh, they will run an 8 kilometre course from the uh, starting in the North Inch, round the North Inch, along Tay Street, round the South Inch and then back along Tay Street to the North Inch. So it will be a grand spectacle in the centre of Perth uh, for the kilt run as well. Uh, so that will be a major, major uh, event on the 2nd of June. And then, of course, in the first week of July, and we, 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 we don't know yet exactly which day it will be, uh, Her Majesty the Queen will be visiting Perth. Uh, I have to say that when it was announced that she was definitely coming to Perth, uh, which was several weeks ago now, we all thought that was a pretty good indicator that Perth had won city status yeah. because would she have come if we hadn't? But anyway, there was no certainty to it uh, at that time, but she is coming uh, and a programme has been uh, developed for her. Uh, she'll be uh, uh, visiting uh, the college. Uh, there'll be a ceremony, uh, there'll be a parade along South Tay, uh, along Tay Street, uh, a ceremony at the dais, um, and then she's having lunch in the... Um, uh, in Scone Palace. Fantastic. So, and Tay Street's, Tay Street's looking very vibrant at the moment as well, with, the, with all the banners to celebrate um, the Ganachy Trust. Well, I know Ganachy Trust, 75th anniversary, all coming together at the one time. It's also the 50th anniversary of the Perth Youth Orchestra. So there's right. a number of anniversaries this year which are, are important to Perth uh, and which will be celebrated uh, in some style. So, Provost, it's the end of year nearing the end of your um, five-year term in office. And, yes. You know, on behalf, I think, of Persia, um, thank you and, uh, for, for, for leading such a good, a good office um, over, over the past five years. If, if, you, if you look back from a personal perspective, what, what would you see as some of the main highlights from your perspective that, that you've thought, that was really good, it was, it was good for Perth, or that was great because I really enjoyed that? Well, I think perhaps the, 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 the one day out of the five years that uh, will always stick in my memory uh, is the uh, St Andrews Day 2010, which was the culmination of the Perth 800 programme uh, celebrating Perth's 800 years of history. Uh, <coughs> we had a, a number of events that day, including the uh, inauguration, could hardly say unveiling, of the famous grouse at Broxden. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, uh, and most important, we had a, 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 a conference for Cheetahslow, which is important for mm -hmm. Perth as well, on that day. But we had various other competitions for schools, which came to a climax on that day, and all the events in the centre of town with the lights and the, the, the light night celebrations, which were put on by Scottish and Southern. Uh, and uh, and finally, of course, the firework display in the evening across the Tay. Never, ever seen fireworks like that in Perth before. Absolutely atmospheric and the, the uh, Perthshire Youth Orchestra and the brass band playing down on Tay Street. And uh, at the climax of the fireworks, the snow started to fall. I remember. It didn't I remember, stop. <laughs> I remember the evening very well. Yes. I, lo I lived just along by the North Inch, so I had the most atmospheric view right onto the bridge well, and the fireworks. Yeah. And then by half past nine at night, it was getting whiter and whiter and whiter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it was very, very good. So that would be my my uh, my uh, great day. The the the. Uh, the uh, on that day as well, we had the, the parade with Prince Edward, uh, uh, so we've had a great deal. The other royal occasion that I remember particularly was a visit by Prince Charles. Mm. Uh, he came on June the 2nd, I think, uh, of 2010, and he visited a farmer's market. I, accompan I accompanied him on that. And Prince Charles was mobbed, absolutely mobbed, uh, and he coped remarkably well. Uh, I saw his uh, various... Uh, um, security men were looking <laughs> really quite worried um, but uh, it was a very very successful day although it was quite wet um, but that was a particularly successful day and then we went after that to a uh, uh, reception uh, in the uh, in Schoon Palace mm. uh, where Prince Charles went around 200 guests and spoke to every single one 
uh, and was very well received. So that was another highlight. Well, Provost, thank you, thank you for your time today. Good pleasure. And um, congratulations once again on on um, on leading the leading the achievement of, of of city status back here in Perth. We thank you. Thank you very much indeed.